hello everyone welcome to my channel let's solve this simple question on the board now look at what you are given you're going to x plus log s base 10 is equals to what 11. we are asked to find the value of x remember that any log with without a specific base know that that log are always in what base 10. that means log s is in what base 10 because there is no specific base okay indicate here now this problem is as simple as a b c d if you understand some properties of some problem solving now look at what you are going to do we are having s plus log s equals 11 i will know that this is in base 10 right we are not wrong if we let log s base 10 to represent any variable we are not wrong okay consider that let let what let log log s equals to what p we are not wrong my brothers and sister remember that this log s is in what base 10 but this log s base 10 now remember now the properties of log reading the base here is 10 that means 10 is the power of p because this is this is your senior you can see that i say let log s base 10 cos of p that means this is in what a uh, log reading form so i want to remove from log reading form to what to exponential form so that means 10 is the power of p will give us x that will be in the exponential word form that means 10 raised to the power of what p is equals to what x wow this is amazing now this is what log reading form and this is what exponential form now let's go back to our question our question said that s plus log s equals to 11. now look at s here and we can see that s is equals to log uh, 10 raised to the power of p look at our x you are seeing here so in place of x here you want to put what 10 raised to the power of what p in place of x here then plus now log s base 10 is what log s base 10 is p so here is now what p equals to what 11. wow this is beautiful but what are we going to do because the person is still looking so among us so what so big okay but we can dissolve it by applying some what some smart way of solving some problems like this okay now what we're going to do is to subtract p from both sides let's do that quickly so that this is 10 is the power what p equals to 11 minus what p okay is there any way we can do is there any method we can follow is there anything we can still do yes we can do something what if we divide both sides by 10 to the power of p so if we divide here by what 10 to the power of p also divide this by what 10 to the power of what p okay 10 to the power of p divided by 10 to the power of p will give us one equals to now do you know that we obey one of the properties of indices that we are not wrong if we decide to write all this as what into 11 minus p okay multiply by 10 raised to the power of minus p we are not wrong my brothers and sister because by one of the properties of indices if we simplify what is here we have exactly 11 minus p divided by 10 raised to the power of p by applying the law of what indices now what are we going to do here now i want you to observe this question very carefully now consider the coefficient of 10 raised to the power of minus p is 11 minus p the coefficient of 10 raised to the power of minus p is 11 minus p now what is our interest our interest is to make this which is 11 minus p to be at the same as the exponents here why are we doing that and coming to that question now why we are doing that is because we want what is this power to be the same as this you can see what it says 11 minus p so one we can thank god we have minus p but there's no 11. so what are we going to do so that can have 11 as the exponent here we have to multiply both sides by 10 to the power of 11. yes because if we multiply both sides by 10 to the power of 11 we want to have exactly what is here as the exponent here let's see it so if we multiply both sides that means this will come become one multiply by 10 to the power what 11 is equals to into 11 minus p okay multiply by 10 to the power what minus p multiply by 10 to the power what 11. You can see that we are multiply both sides by what 10 to the power what 11. now one multiply by 10 to the power 11 give us what 10 to the power what 11 okay because once time anything is same is still that same thing okay equals to into 11 minus p okay multiply by 10 is forward now let's observe from here by one of the properties of indices since the bases are the same and we're having a multiplication sign here we have to take a single base and add the exponents so this thing you're seeing here something as 11 minus what p by adding the word exponent you can see what i was telling you guys that this is the same thing as this wow you can you know you wonder why are we doing this we are coming to that question we are coming to the reason why we are doing this okay because if we do not do this the question will look on solve problem so we must find a way so that we can solve this problem that's why we are doing this 
now that is beautiful remember we didn't shoot anything everything you are doing is you are following um procedure and we are not shooting anybody when i multiply here by 10 to 11 i also multiply by 10 to 11 that means i make equation balance that's amazing now what are we going to do now let's look at what you can going to do here now you are having 10 11 minus p multiply by 10 to the minus p wow this is amazing but we can do something very interesting here now i want you to understand that i want you to understand that if you have e raised to the power what e raised to the power what e raised to the power what sorry for my marker let me change my marker if you have e raised to the power e raised to the power what link a is equal to what a i want you to understand this property it's one of the properties of what in this uh, logarithm you know that i'm not wrong if i decide to write this as that means 10 10 raised to the power what 11 will be equals to into 11 minus p okay then multiply by you know that i'm not wrong if i decide to write all this as what e raised to the power what 10 to the power what 11 minus what p sorry i didn't put the link you can see link what link 10 to the power of what 11 minus p you know that i'm not wrong i'm not wrong in any way because by this property, say that e raised to the power of link a is equal to a. That means e raised to the power of link 10 to the power of 11 minus p is the same thing as 10 raised to the power of 11 minus p by obeying the properties, these properties you are seeing here. Now, there's another property of long we can do. Apply here. 11 minus p can go back to at the back of the link, okay? That means 10 to the power of 11 will be equal to into 11 minus p, okay, multiplied by e raised to the power what? 11 minus what? P, then what? Then link what? Link 10. Okay? Wow, that's amazing. I love that. Now, we have in here as what? 10 is to power 11 equals to into 11 minus P in close, multiplied by E to power 11 minus what? 11 minus P link 10. Now, we can see that something is different in this question. Now, here we have in 11 minus, 11 minus what? 11 minus P. And here we have in 11 minus P link 10. What you have to do here is to multiply both sides by link 10. I will tell you the reason why we are doing that. The reason why we are doing that is because we are looking for a way so we can apply our what? Lambda the real what? Function. <laughs> That's what we are looking for. That's the the of why we are doing all this, okay? Now, if you multiply here by 10, link 10, also multiply by link 10. That's what we are going to do, okay? Now, if you multiply here this by link 10, what does 10 raised to the power what's 11? We multiply by what link 10, okay? Then we also multiply here by what link 10, okay? then into 11 minus p okay multiply by e raised to the power what i have to put this in the parenthesis okay into 11 minus p okay link what link 10. wow this is amazing you can see this is beautiful now let's take the lambda w function of both sides okay let's see yes let's take the lambda w function of both sides but you know i want you to understand you know that i'm having as 10 link 10 into this and here having 11 minus link 10. Do you know that I can also remove this as remove this? I want it to be the same as this. I want to have to remove this since in multiplication sign. I can write that this is the same as into 11 minus p multiplied by what link what link 10. There's nothing different. Okay, since in multiplication sign, I want this to be the same as this so that when I apply the lambda the real function to be awesome. Okay, so let's take the lambda the real function of 10 raised to the power of 11 link what link 10 is equal to the lambda the real function of what into um into again 11 minus p okay link 10 okay multiplied by e raised to power what into 11 minus p link what link 10 okay wow then that's a, that will close the parenthesis now i want you to understand that the lambda the real function the lambda the real function of a multiplied by e raised to the power of a is equals to what a now these are properties you have to understand in lambda what the real function you can see that 11 minus p multiplied by link 10 is the same thing as what is the same thing as what a multiplied by e raised to the power of a which the outcome is a now let's take let's take all this as what a i also take all this as this a you are seeing here this a you are seeing here that means the outcome of this will just give us a that means the real function of what 10 raised to the power of 11 link what link 10 is equals to the outcome will be just be what 11 minus p link what link 10 that's the outcome you can see that the outcome of this is just a so the outcome will be 
11 minus P link 10. Wow, this is amazing. Now, what are we going to do? Let's observe this question carefully. Do you know that we are not wrong if you decide to write this as 11 minus P link 10 equals to the W function of what into 10 raised to the power of 11 link what link 10. There's nothing changed, okay? Now, what you are going to do is to divide both sides by what by link 10. Okay, we also divide this by what link what link 10. Okay, some people will go and cancel out link 10, will cancel out link 10. Please don't do that mistake. Remember that the lambda the function is affecting all the all of this function at the numerator before divided by the denominator. Okay, so first of all, I have to take the lambda the function of this divided by the link 10. Okay, now this will cancel out this. So now see that 11 minus p is equals to the lambda the real function of 10 raised to the power of 11 link what link 10. Okay, divided by what link what link 10. Wow, this is amazing. So what are we going to do? We want to subtract 11 from both sides. So let's subtract 11 from both sides quickly. So let me remove this from here. But okay, let me remove this from here. Wow, this is an amazing question. Now if we subtract 11 from both sides, I want to add that this will be what minus p. Okay, this will be left with what minus p equals to okay, the real function of what 10 is support of 11 link 10. Okay. Then minus what 11 because subtract 11 from both sides divided by what link what link 10. Now, what I'm going to do here is to multiply both sides by minus one. So I remove minus one for here. So if we do that, what that this is p equals to minus one into the lambda the real function of 10 is support what 11 link what link 10 divided by link what link 10 minus 11. Okay, we can see. So if we use this one to multiply by everything here, look at what you're going to have. Not that P is equals to 11, then minus the lambda the real function because minus times minus 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 one times minus 11 give us 11, right? Positive. And minus one times this will be minus will affect this, okay? Then into 10 raised to the power what 11 link what link 10, okay? Divided by what link what link 10. Wow, this is amazing, okay? Now this is the value of P. P is equals to 11 minus lambda the real function of 10 is power 11 link 10 divided by link 10. This is the value of P. But remember, we are not asked to solve for 10. So we are not asked to solve for P. We are asked that what is the value of what X. Now, let me recall. Let's recall. Let me remove this for you, please. All right. Now, we are going to look for our beautiful X. Now, let's recall. Okay. Let's recall. Okay. Recall that. Recall that. Recall that you can see that from here that means 10 raised to the power of p is equals to what x. From here we can have our s. You can see that 10 raised to the power of p is equals to s. That means 10 raised to the power of what 10 raised to the power of into 11 minus the w function of into 10 raised to the power of 11 link 10. Okay, then divided by link 10. Okay, is what is equals to what x. Because that means if we simplify this, it should give us a because and this implies that. That our s is equal to 10 raised to the power of what into 11 minus the w function of what 10 raised to the power 11 link 10 okay divided by what link what link 10 okay that means if we simplify this we want to have what the value of x no it's not all calculators that have this function okay so what i'm going to do i want to drop the answer on this screen you can see on this screen i see the answer on this screen that's what i want to do i want to draw the answer on this screen okay that means 10 raised to the power what 11 minus the w function of 10 raised to the power 11 Link 10 divided by link 10. Please don't go and cancel out link 10. This link 10 will cancel out. This. Please don't do that. Remember that this number, lambda the refresh is affecting the 10 is point 11 link 10. Please take note because of people go and cancel out link 10. So, why, why I, I, sh I should have canceled out this link 10 since they are common here? No, remember that this num lambda the refresh is affecting 10 is point 11 link 10. Okay, when you're taking the lambda the refresh of this, then divide that by link 10. Then from there, you can do your simple mass of taking your own same or you understand you can take your same. Then, whatever thing you have as a numerator, the power here. That means 10 support of that value will give us the value of s. But what I'm going to do, I want to draw the answer on this screen. You can see on this screen, that's what I'm going to do. You can see the value. This value actually is the value of s. Okay. And you see how simple and interesting it is. So please, if you find it very interesting, don't hesitate. You were to like, comment, and share with your loved ones and others who learn from you. So thank you so much and God bless you. Please, if you're not subscribed, consider to subscribe to this channel so that anytime we upload an exciting video, you will notice fine. So thank you so much and God bless you. Bye bye.